Okay, let's say I have x plus 2. How would I show that with my algebra tiles? Well, this represents x, this is 1, and this is 2. So x plus 2 would look like that. So if I had another one of x plus 2, what would that be? So if I had two of these, that is 2x, and I've got 4. What if I wanted another one? So I haven't got two of them anymore, but I've got three of them. What's that? So if I've got three x plus 2s, that is 3x plus, and I've got six little ones this time. So you might be a bit confused. Why have I got brackets here? Well, that's because before it was two of the whole length. And this time it's three of the whole length. If I just wanted to have three lots of x and then add two, that would look different because I would have three lots of the x, but I would only have two of the green ones and that would look different. Let's try another one. Let's say I wanted to make x plus 3. Which pieces would I need? x plus 3. If you've got your own algebra tiles, you could be making this as well. Okay, can you now do it that I have two of those? So I have two of these things. So I've got another x plus one, two, three. What have I got now? That's two x plus six. Right, with your algebra tiles, can you try and make it for this? Get your teacher to pause the video if you need. If not, I will put these on now. So there's four of the x plus three. So what's that all overall? How many x's do I have? Four x plus how many ones? Four times three, 12. Because I've got three here and four lots of it. Four times three. Okay. We're just going to have a little look at some negatives now. They're done very in a very similar way. The only thing is you're going to turn your algebra tiles um, to face the other way, to face the red way. Okay, let's say instead I want x take away two. Now my x is still positive. Okay, so let's put an x there. But my take away two, um, it's a negative two this time, so I'm going to use my red squares, which is just you turning over your other squares. So this would be x take away three, in fact. So x take away two would look like that. If I want another x take away two, I'd have another x and another take away two. So two lots of x take away two is 2x and I've got take away 4, subtract 4. What about if I had 3 of them? Can you predict or make with your algebra tiles what would that be? Well done if you had x, 3x take away 6. Okay, we've got one more example to do and these are slightly trickier. Okay, we should know how to make x plus 1. So x plus 1 looks like that. And if I wanted 3 of them, I would know what I was doing. But I want negative 3 of them. What that means is, again, I'm going to have to flip each tile as I do it. So instead of having 3 of these blue ones, I'll flip it over and have 3 
red ones. Instead of having three of these green ones, I'll flip it over and again have three red ones. So what have I got there? I've got negative 3x, because these are actually all negative x, the red ones. Take away 3, because these are also all negative. But that's quite tricky. Give the ones you've got to do a go.